Hello again, this is another lawn tractor I recently redid. Uh, it's now electric. It was gas. It was a John Deere that someone had found and the engine had exploded inside of it. I did not have a replacement engine, so just decided to take my other electric lawnmower, put it back to uh, gas because the Briggs & Stratton I did find fit that model, but would not fit this. This takes a Kohler. Mounting points were different. And it needed a uh, alternator, or a, I don't know what it's called, the uh, power generation to recharge the battery. Well, anyway, uh, it's a John Deere, very nice tractor. It had a gas tank, removed that, it was under the seat. I'm not going to bother showing it. I have all these controls set up, so you can see the same voltage meter. It will tell me currently what the uh, capacity of my battery is. <laughs> When, ex when running it, it will actually turn on with the factory key and just control the uh, throttle at which you want to run it. And to turn it off, you just click it off. All of the safety switches are engaged with the uh, current system. So if someone is not sitting, it will not run. If the blades are down, with the tractor off and you try to turn it on, it won't turn on. So those safety protocols are in place. Um, let me try and get the uh, hood off, show you what I did here. It's the same setup like I showed last time, but uh, for a different body. In this one, I did not have to extend the chassis. The battery just fit right on the original frame because it seems to be a little longer. And the engine was mounted farther back on the John Deere. So we just put the motor farther back as well. I didn't bother recutting all of my wires. So this is the only one that is a little taut, but it's fine. It's two gauge wire. Controller, contractor, solenoid are all still here. If I want to, I can separately balance my battery using this contraption here. I don't generally need to do that. I connected a BMS to this battery so it won't overcharge and it will balance when it is charging. Got this nice uh, lithium ion power source that will charge specifically to 50.4 volts or the battery for a Chevy Volt, when one module. And with the hood on, all you do when you go to park it, plug it right in right here. Charger will turn on, both lights indicating it's charging. And it is complete. So. There it is, John Deere. Fully converted John Deere. Electric lawnmower.